what's up people okay let's talk about this um golden glove super six tournament that's going to be taking place at empress palace uh casino in south africa uh we're going to talk about the super six and uh the fighters that are on the card let's just uh quickly go through them uh We'll start with the the main man himself, uh, Tommy Tommy Gunn Ustazen. Twenty two wins, no losses, two draws, thirteen knockouts. Um, the, this guy I've seen uh, perform all over the world, probably, and he comes in as the number one seed and the favorite to win the Super Six. Uh, he has a very good chance of winning it. I mean, he he's he's not exactly fought uh, small boys. He's, he he is rated really highly, and uh, this will be. Um, his second fight at uh, light heavyweight when he when he comes into this tournament because he's got another fight coming up in uh, Monte Carlo and Monaco because uh, the tournament is due to start in August so he has a fight in between the, the two. He'll be taking on uh, Wilberforce Schiepo, 21 and 8. Uh, the Namibian is, you know, he fought um, Tommy Uwestays in Stablemate, uh, who is um, Johnny Muller. Yeah, so um, and it was a it was a split decision war between the between Johnny Miller, but then of course Tommy Uwestazen's probably in another class to Johnny Miller. So you know Uwestazen's recently vacated that IBO, but let's um, talk more of, more about Shiepo. He has he's only fought once on the Golden Gloves bill, you know, um, but he's most noted for actually um, uh, going up against Arthur Abraham, but. Um, you know, I don't think it'll be an easy fight for Tommy, but I do believe Tommy won't uh, knock him out, but he'll TKO uh, Wilberforce Schiepo. Then, next is Reno Liebenberg, 15-0, and 0, 11 knockouts. This man is just, I mean, he's a, he's got the biggest height in the game. Um, he's recently uh, moved into the WBC top 10, which is unbelievable, as he's just, he's just dis dismantled his last three opponents in the first round, knocking them out. No one can handle him, so eventually they had to Give Liebenberg a real challenge in Dennis Grashev, who who's been who's fought Edwin Rodriguez and Isaac Chalimba, losing to both guys, but he's now fighting out of the Chris Bird, um, yeah, uh, uh, training with Chris Bird in San Diego, which is which is great though. Like, like Grashev is gonna he's gonna be one hell of a challenge for Liebenberg. Grashev always comes on weight and always ready to 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 roll, as uh, Reno would say. Um, this is going to be a great fight. I think this this is not going to be an easy fight, but I do. I'm going to predict this one. I'm going to say Reno Liebenberg knocks out uh, Dennis Khrushchev because because it's 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 scripted. It's in the books. It's going to happen. You know, Khrushchev has a record of 13 wins, three losses, and a draw, which is unfortunate because he has fought some tough guys in his short career. But I still think that uh, Reno Liebenberg will will remain undefeated and progress to the semifinals. Okay, last but not least, um, Johnny Muller versus uh, Roberto Bolanti. Uh, okay, Johnny Muller, um, 16, 16 wins, 3 losses, 2 draws, 12 knockouts. You know, Johnny Muller always comes to fights, you know. It's never a dull um, fight when it comes to him. Um, he's gonna, he always makes, like, this um, a great fight. Like, whoever he's versing, it's going to be an epic war. Even when he, when he went up against Sherpa in the last fight, it was an epic war, split decisions. But he, he makes, there, there, with Johnny Muller, there's always going to be blood. That's what you know. Uh, he's coming up against Roberto Bolanzi. This is the first time I've heard of Bolanzi. But, um, you know, he, he's traveling to uh, Germany next month. He'll be, he'll be facing uh, the WBA champion there. And uh, doesn't, regardless of the outcome, he'll be fighting in the Super 6 in August. Uh, he's, uh, he's from Argentina, this guy, and uh, 35 and two 24 knockouts so judging by his knockout ratio <laughs> it's gonna be one hell of a night probably i'll see um him knocking johnny muller out to be honest with you and um and it won't be it won't be uh in the later rounds it'll probably be between four and eight for me i don't think johnny muller stands much of a chance against so, well just judging by his record i've never seen him fight actually so i can't really say but judging by the guys he's taking on now <laughs> i'm pretty sure he'll in the semi-final next round no 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 offense to johnny Muller. okay guys that's the super six like six opponents so how this tournament works basically is the um, uh two winners go through to the semi-final and the and the uh, sorry the three winners go through to the semi-final and the best loser goes to the semi-final and uh yeah so so someone that that that, that gives their all but loses is will be in the in the final and if I have to go for the best loser, I'd probably say it'll be Grashev because just for the simple fact, because I think he's gonna give Tommy Uwestays and um, uh, Reno Liebenberg a big challenge, 
Um, despite being, despite me thinking he's going to get knocked out, uh, I still think he'll do the best because I don't see Muller or Schiepo on that same level. So, alright, thanks for listening. Cheers. <laughs>